Good morning, everyone. We are having a great time here. We are at the huge, the nationals of the Soapbox Derby. I'm hanging out with Bob, who's the public relations chairman. Good morning. How are you, sir? Very, very good. Thank yeah. you. Welcome. The Welcome first to the All American. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. Soapbox Derby. So, this is really interesting. We're in the Hall of Fame Museum. It serves as two purposes, this big warehouse. First of all, let's explain all the cars we're seeing on the floor, Bob. What are these? These are going to race today. Or these are these are young people's cars who mm -hmm. are going to be racing tomorrow. Okay. And we have three different divisions. These are the local champions from around the country. Wow. And they've earned the right to be here this week because they won their local races. So this is where their car is stored. Now over here I see two different styles of uh, car. Can you explain this to us, Bob? This is a master's division car. This is for the older, more experienced drivers. Mm -hmm. These are all built from kits, okay. but the youngsters 10 to 20 race in this category. And they're laying back on this. They're like laying back, a, right. and you can see there's not a whole lot of sight line out of there, but it's <laughs> remarkable how right. well they do is keeping the car going straight down the... And then over this here... This is super stock, which mm -hmm. is a little bit uh, younger. They can be as young as uh, 10 in this one. Okay. I'm sorry, nine in this one. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, also a kit. And the difference here between that car and this yeah. car, in addition to the, the bodies, they lay down on this one, and this one they sit in the car and lean as far forward as they can. Now, Bob, the history of started, it didn't necessarily start in Akron, did it? The first race is a very, very it first race. The very first one was in Dayton. Okay. And since you're a journalist, you'd yeah. be interested to know that it was actually the result of a news story that a Dayton <laughs> photographer did. Oh, wow. He found he found some youngsters racing in these jerry-built cars, <laughs> and he organized it. Yeah. And he eventually copyrighted, trademarked it, and he sold it to General Motors as a program. There and the go. first one was in, in Dayton. Now, Chris is showing all these cars hanging up. You actually win. Your car gets hung up Correct. in some fashion, Correct. right? Yeah. And all these are champions. Now this one over here goes all the way back. Kenneth Klein to 1967. And look at the design on that. He was, uh, that was almost a, a revolutionary kind of design with the, the needle nose like yeah. that. And he was from Lincoln, Nebraska. Mm -hmm. He was uh, 12 years old yeah. at the time. Okay. And wonderful car. Well, this is amazing. I mean, you talk about the history here, and Chris is going to show us all the cars we see on the walls. All of these are champions. So whoever wins the big championship, their car will be mounted on a wall or mounted up in Correct. some form or fashion. All right, we are having a great time. The All-American Soapbox Derby, as you guys can see, tons of history here. Uh, Bob, thank you so much. When we come back, lots to show you guys. Pick it up with Kenny. Stay with us.